Hey guys, another beautiful day in the garden. It actually just finished with a large storm. It lasted, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Everything got a good dousing of rain. It actually happened yesterday as well, which is nice. It means I don't have to do additional watering, which is always great. So today, today I am going to pull up all my potatoes and I'm not sure that I really want to share this with you because I have a feeling it's going to be very pitiful, but I'm going to share it with you. Good and the bad, that's part and parcel of gardening. So uh, let me show you what it is looking like right now. And then we will get busy digging them up. All right, so this is these are my potatoes and you've seen this in my garden tours yeah this is as big as they got some of them didn't get big at all um so i have i did the root root stout method so basically i just put the potatoes on the bare ground and then covered them with a very thick uh, layer of straw and then I did go back, uh, probably just as they were starting to come up, I went back and I did another layer of straw all the way down. So what is there, I think, should be fine. Um, shouldn't have gotten any sun damage. So, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to say, so I have red potatoes, Yukon Golds, and russets down there. I don't know specifically what kind of russets, and I don't remember what specifically kind of reds they are um, and it's about equal amounts of each I planted 13 pounds of potatoes so let's see what we get all right here we go Interesting. So this is the potato that I planted and usually when you pull them up, they're all soft and squishy and gross and this is actually still totally solid. So it just goes to show and like so far, <laughs> two, two, two tiny potatoes. <laughs> They shouldn't be very far, they shouldn't be in the ground really at all, but I'm going to just dig a little bit to make sure one or two didn't decide to. Dig in. Doesn't look like it though. No. Alright, well, I have a feeling this is what my harvest is going to look like all the way down. But if I get more than 13 pounds, I'll call it a win.
Okay, we are at the red potatoes now. I actually misspoke. The Yukon Golds were the first in the row. And now we are <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of red potatoes. <laughs> yes, I'm saving even those little teeny tiny ones. Well, I have dug up all of the reds and all of the Yukon golds, but I dug up a couple of my russets and these actually are still looking pretty healthy and green. Like they really haven't started dying back. This is just bug damage here. So, um, so I'm gonna leave these guys cause the potatoes on them, there's a lot of potatoes, but they're like itty bitty, 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 tiny. So, I'm gonna leave these guys, see if we can get a little bit bigger potatoes out of them. In the meantime, let me show you my lovely little harvest of potatoes. I'm keeping paper over them because I don't want them to start turning green from the sun. I don't think it really happens that fast, but so yeah. This is the sum total of my reds and Yukon golds. So it's not terrible. I mean, I got a couple decent sized ones, but most of them are like this and every plant only had one, maybe up to three of those sizes. So, but you know what? I'm pretty sure it's more than 13 pounds. I'll actually weigh it and I'll let you know, but They'll, they'll be delicious. We will thoroughly enjoy them. We love potatoes and I will try again next year. All right. Thanks for coming along guys.